What's up everyone? It's Sydney and it's day number 16 of our PUSH program. This is your 40 minute full body circuit workout. So grab your dumbbells and let's get started. What's up everyone? I'm so excited for our day number 16 workout. We have a full body circuit workout today. Three exercises, two rounds through for 50 seconds each, totaling six minutes of a muscle group at a time. So let's go ahead and get you set up so we can rock into this workout. Sweat towel and a water bottle as always. I also have my glute resistance band out here today if you want an alternative, maybe a not dumbbell or a dumbbell with a band option for our squats and then our sliders for a plank circuit, okay? Additionally, I have my bench out here for some modifications for myself for push-ups. So if you'd like to pull your bench out, you can do that. I always kind of have mine out nowadays. And then as far as your dumbbells, I'm gonna go from 10 to 25 or 30 pounds. Heaviest weight will be for things like squats and lunges. Lightest weight will be for a lateral lunge and deadlift combo, just single leg work today, okay? So let's rock right into your warm up. Arms over your chest in three, two, one, let's go. Good, starting off this workout, starting off this week, this day, make sure you're taking advantage of the time that you're investing to be here. Good job, opening up your mind to working hard, not just getting through it, but showing up and showing out for yourself. Heels to glutes. Great job. Get into the mindset of, can I do a little more? Can I push a little harder? I'm gonna constantly be asking you to evaluate that. Can you give me a little more? Can you go a little heavier? Nice wide stance, bent leg, straight leg. Good. Activate your muscles here. Let's get your body temperature up. Let's get your heart rate pumping. And as always, showing gratitude for what our bodies can do for us in this workout. We work as hard as we can. Down in the front. Nice straight legs. Nice work. Open up your left arm to the ceiling, rotate your torso. Take it down and switch. And back down and switch one more time each. Open, open, open. And switch. Great job, walk it over to your right toe, turn everything over to the right side. Bend down and touch the knee to the floor. Open your chest up, nice runner's lunge here. Deep stretch in the hip. And push your hips up into the air. And exhale back down. and push the hips up into the air, great job. Take both feet back and let's switch legs, same thing. Okay, take it down, good stretch in the hip. And lift it up in the air. Good job, one more, take it down. We're gonna get started here in just about 35 seconds. Lift it up. And step up with both feet right outside your hands. Drop your hips. Three squats. Three, two, and one. And circuit number one is gonna start with a squat to lunge combo. Moving just the right leg first. You're gonna go squat, lunge, okay? Second 45 seconds is the opposite leg. Third 45 seconds, squat and lunge, speed round, okay? So let's grab dumbbells that you wanna hold. We go squat and right leg lunge in three, two, one, let's go. One squat, one lunge back. Good job, you've got about 50 seconds here. Just enough time for a quick little shakeout break and we'll go to the other leg. Nice work, you're moving your right leg only. When you come back to the squat, both legs push. Only two rounds through each circuit of three. There you go, give me four. 
three, two, one. Nice job. 10 seconds. We're going to the other leg, okay? Squat lunge with the left leg. Three, two, let's go. Using weights that challenge you. Pushing at a tempo you can maintain for 50 seconds. Great job, 20 seconds, come on. squat to lunge speed round if you could hop I want you to go hop split hop split you need to stay on the ground you're here lunge tap ready let's go and I want you to stay low if that means you're staying on the floor that's fine keep your knee bent as well so it's not here it's here Good job, you're seated. You stay seated as you shift to left and right. Twenty seconds to go. If you can add in a hop, I want you to do it. Good job, five, four, two, one, same thing, round number two, one last time. If you can go up and wait, let's do it. Moving just the right leg, squat to lunge. Three, two, let's go. Good job, can you get a little deeper in your squat? Sit down deeper in your lunge. Last 20, come on. Three, two, one, great job, 10 seconds. Switch legs, same thing, good work. Two, one. Only moving the left in that lunge. Good job, press the floor away. Keep moving. Rock it out, 20 more seconds, come on. Push, push, seven, sit down, come on, five. One more, three, two, one, let's go. Jumps, or stay low and tap. If you can hop, I need you to do that. Even halfway through, if you add that. Let's go, two, one, squat lunge, come on. Keep that back knee bent, so make sure you're not just touching back like this, you're sitting. Let's go, high intensity here. Muscle endurance, make it last. We're moving on to upper body next, so I need you to give me all that your legs have here for 20 more seconds, come on. Come on, get down. 10, push it, nine. That 
That's it, three, two, one, and breathe. Amazing work, we're going into curl and press. One side, unilateral work. We've got the right arm first, curl press, then the left arm, curl press, then we've got a marching press here. Okay, 50 seconds of each one. Let's go in 10 seconds. All right, just the right arm. Got your weights? Round one, let's go. Three, two, and curl, press. Good. Feel free, if you can, add a balance component. Stabilization and muscle endurance is the name of the game for this month. So add in that challenge if you can. Hold your arm out to the side, shoulders stay level. You control the lower. Good job, give me 10 more seconds. Four, three, two, 10 seconds to rest, great job. Swinging it over, same weight with the opposite arm, and then we'll drop that weight for our marching press. Two, one, let's go. There's a lot moving in your upper body right now. Focus on your ribs, stacking up over your hips. Shoulders staying level, so the left and the right shoulder don't dip down uneven. They stay straight across. And your dumbbell is in your control. So if you're swinging and punching and then letting it down with the swing, the balance is gonna be so much harder. Control the strength so you can last the whole time. Good, 10 more seconds, come on. Two, one, I'm going back down to my lighter weights. Dumbbells start here. March, march. Ready? I'm gonna save my shoulders for that one. Two, one, now we go, come on. Good, it's a bit lighter, so feel free to speed this up. Make sure you're not arching your back here. Stay stacked, the knee comes out in front of your chest. Good job, come on. Big push. Good, 10, nine, four, three, two, one. And we've got one more round through all three. Go up and wait if you can. We go in five with the right arm. Two, one, come on. Balancing if you can, but focusing on the upper body. Yes, you're gonna feel this in your shin and your calf and your foot. It's working hard for you. Good, stay focused for 15. Four. Last one, two, one, and rest. Good job. Switch it over to the other arm. You got 10 seconds. If you need to adjust anything. Here we go, left side. Two, one, come on. Stabilize, control. Be fighting against that dumbbell as much as you can. If you're coasting through this weight, if you end up at the end of this 50 seconds, like, okay, what's next? I need you to push heavier.
Come on, 20 seconds left. Ten. Three, two, all right. Ten seconds rest. Let's march it out in seven. Two, one, come on. Good, maybe you can keep your dumbbells ear height and above. I know it's burning. Breathe with me, come on. Don't stop for 20 more seconds right here. Good, keep them up there. We've got 10, nine. There we go, finish with me, four, three, two, one. Oh, rest. And we're moving into some plank work. So get ready to rock your core here. Sliders, if you have them, if you brought them out, go ahead and get them ready. We've got a plank knee crunch to the side, knee crunch cross under your body and then a standing oblique crunch, okay? So if you're using the sliders, let me show you how you're gonna use them, okay? Exercise one, plank knee crunch to the side. You're in a plank, you're taking it out, crunch and crunch, okay? Exercise two, you cross under, under with a twist. Exercise three, we're standing overhead, one leg at a time, knee lift, okay? Holding a dumbbell overhead. Grab your slider if you're using it, if you're using body weight, that's totally fine too. Two, one, let's go. We're taking it out to the side. Alternating legs. And really look over, move your hip to the other side, crunch that oblique. Drop to your forearms if you wanna make this a little tougher. Nice job, 10 more seconds. Then we'll rest our shoulders for a second and go cross body under. And rest, good. So same exact position, you're taking your opposite knee to the opposite elbow. And as you do that, I want you to lift up, just a little crunch. Two, one, let's go, cross it under. Good, mine might look a little bit different than yours. Okay, but what I need you to do is as you twist, lift the hip to really engage your core fully. Good job, keep your hips and your shoulders nice and square. I know you might be feeling this in your shoulders, I am as well. Resort back to thinking about your core. Good job, give me 10 more seconds, you got this. You can do it. Three, two, one. Great job, grab a dumbbell to hold overhead. Just moving the right leg first. Take it off the ground, we go here. Three, two, let's go. All core, all the time. Good, and if you need to modify, touch down, lift. Touch down, externally rotate. Trying to get you to depend on your left leg and your core here the entire time. Round two, we'll switch legs, but focus here. If I can give you a quick technique cue, think of every single joint in your body, aside from the moving leg, being stacked up under your wrist or over your heel. So we go wrists, over the elbows, over the shoulders, over the ribs and the hips, over the knee, over the ankle. And keep it there. Five, two, one, 
Great job. Hopefully that technique cue helped you not let your hips shimmy out to the side or forward or backward. We're back, grab those sliders, side crunches. Three, two, one. All right, let's rock on. Side, side. Come on, we're rocking endurance today, so shoulders are lasting, core is lasting. Fifteen. Three, two, one. Drop and rest your shoulders. Good job. Cross it under your body now. We go in five. Remember, lift up just a little bit. Two, one. Let's get it. Good work. I'm adding in just a little glute pulse to the side for myself. You focus in on your core. Crunch, take it back. Twenty seconds. Come on, core muscles. Get those abs working. Let that sweat fall. You've earned it. You've got five, four, three. Good job. Two, one, and rest. Come on back up. We moved only the right leg last time. Now, rocking just the left. So grab a dumbbell, throw it up. Two, one, engage, lift, lift. Remember our joint stacking technique. Wrists over the elbows, over the shoulders, over the ribs and hips over the knee, over the ankle. Keep it right there. Don't let your hips go side to side, forward or backward. They're stuck in between your wrist and your ankle. Stay focused, 10. Three, two, one, and breathe. That one went by pretty fast, right? Whew. Okay, grab some water. We're moving down into a lower body circuit again. You're over halfway through this workout, so if there's any doubt in your mind that you're not going hard enough, don't do this whole disservicing yourself thing where you just kind of hold back and wait to go hard until the end. We're in the second half. All right, we're moving into a lateral lunge to deadlift. Moving just the right leg first, you step out into your lunge, and then you're gonna take that right leg back. Deadlift, feel free to lift it off the ground or just stagger, okay? And then you do the other leg, so left side moves, and then we have curtsy, lunge, jumps, okay? So, let's grab weights to hold, one uh, weight per arm for your lateral lunge to deadlift. Ready? Three, two, only moving the right. Let's go. Nice work. Sit down low in that lateral lunge, and hips go back on the deadlift. Ten seconds. Three, two, and rest for ten. We go the opposite way. Okay, moving the left leg only in five. Two. 
One, let's go. Sit, come back, and then hinge. Keep your shoulders level, especially when you're doing a deadlift. If you're dipping your shoulder to where they're uneven, your back is rotating, making it a little bit less safe for your core. Shoulders are level. Ten. Two, one, great job. Curtsy, lunge, hops. Side to side. If you don't want to hop, feel free to keep it on the ground, but give me some speed, okay? Here we go. Two, one, let's go. Sit, hop, sit. Good job, getting as low as you can, really powering off that side leg. Good job, keep pushing. 20 more seconds. Push yourself, come on, 10. Three, two, one. Great job, we're back to moving just the right leg, and if you can go heavier, let's do it. Right leg, lateral lunge. Two, one, let's get it. Round number two of all three of those. Great job. Balance is everything here. As you move from side seated, to standing hinge. Keep your focus on your core, shoulders, hips. Eight, seven, good work. Three, two, one, great job. And we move on to the other side. 10 seconds, five, ready, two, step it out and sit, let's go, whoo. Nice work, take your time to sit down in that lunge. There we go. Twenty seconds. Finish strong, right here. Two, one, and rest. Let's finish it out with the curtsy lunges in seven. Three, two, and here we go. Rock it out. Great job, if you can hop. Give me some more distance laterally. Okay, let's make it a little more intense for you. Cover more ground side to side. Get out of this squat position quicker. You got 20 seconds. You can do this. Ten. Three, two, one. Rest. Go ahead and grab some water. That's four circuits down. We've got one more bigger circuit. 
<sighs> Two rounds through each. Then we've got a nice long cool down, okay? Full body circuit here at the end. We've done two lower, we've done two upper. So the last circuit will have two exercises lower, two exercises upper. Okay, we're gonna start off bent rows, okay? First round, just the left arm. Second round, just the right arm. Then we go tricep, kickbacks. Just the left, then just the right, second round. Then we go squat jump, number call outs. Then we go glute bridge, abduction call outs. Okay, so in 10 seconds, we're gonna row just the left arm, okay? So support yourself here. We go in four, three, two, let's go left arm, big row. Good job. Big pull here, keep your back flat. Fifteen more seconds. Three, sorry, ten, nine. Good job. Keep pulling, keep pulling for five. Three, two, one, lighten that weight just a little bit. You have the same arm doing a kickback. So a little endurance here. Tricep kickback, three, two, one, let's go. Feel free to give me a single leg balance if you can with maybe the same side arm. Focus on the kickback though. Keep your elbow right here. Stay in it, come on. Focus. Fifteen. Get the pinky up, come on, push through. Six. Three, two, one. Now you're gonna drop into a squat. You're gonna hold it. If you wanna add a glute band, you can, but I'm gonna call out a number one through five. That's how many squat jumps you're gonna do, okay? So have a seat with me. Two, one, let's go. You're listening for anything, one, two, three, four, or five. That's how many squat jumps you're gonna do. So we start with two, and then back to a squat. Four. One. One, five, let's go, five, four. Good job, 15 more seconds, hold, hold, hold. Listen for a number, but hold in the meantime. Two, seven, six, five. Hold here, a little lower, three, two, one. Great job, take it down to the floor. Whew. We've got a glute bridge, hold it up, listen for numbers. You're taking it out, two, one, let's go. Squeeze, and we go three, three, two, one, hold, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Five. Two. One. Five. Good, squeeze tighter, lift higher. Up, 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 come on. 15 seconds. Four. Stay here for seven, higher, squeeze tighter. Three, two, one and drop. Come on back up. You're back to your bent rows and we do everything upper body now on the right side. Let's go. Three, two, one. Right side row. Two. 
So we've got a row, a kickback, squat jump call out, glute bridge call out. If in your squat jump and your glute bridge you want to add a band, add that into the last round. I'll do it with you. Twenty seconds. Five. Come on, one more big pull. Three, two, one, and rest. We're going to the kickback. Support yourself if you need to with a bench or your uh, chair, a wall, anything like that. Let's go. Two, one. And we kick it back. Last little bit of upper body work here. Keep the elbow up. If you want to hold right here under your bicep, just make sure that you're not dropping your elbow as you kick back and straighten your arm. Good work, let's go, 15 more seconds. Keep your back strong, nine, eight, seven. Three, two, one, glute band if you would like, squat jump call outs, here we go. Have a seat, three, two, and we're down, listen for numbers one through five. And we're going for four. Two. One. 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 Five. Come on, work, work, work. You got 10 seconds. We go two, five, two, one, and rest. I was actually counting down to five there, but just went with five jumps. Take it down to the floor, glute bridges. Hold your hips up. Three, two, let's go. Three, two, five, five, four, three. Two, one, and let's go five to finish it out. Five, four, three, two, one, and breathe. Drop your hips down to the ground. Put your hands out to the side of your body. You have made it to your cool down. We've got a nice long cool down today to kick off this Monday workout. Put your ankles and knees together. Let them fall over to the side. Great work. Look away from where your knees are pointing. Give me a good thoracic rotation and switch sides. Take this time to cool down. You're already down here. This is part of your workout time. Great job. Bring it back over into the center and make your way onto your hands and knees. If you still have your band on, you can take it off quickly. All right, nice wide hands. Dip your chest down in the middle, taking your elbows out to the side. A good stretch in your anterior deltoid, your bicep, your pecs. Good, come back up. Drop your hips down to the floor. Great work today. 
I hope throughout each circuit, you dug a little bit deeper, found ways to push through 50 second work periods of very similar muscle groups, right? I'm so proud of you. Come on back up. Let's tuck your toes down and push your hips up to the sky with your heels shoving to the ground. Stretch your calves out by bending one knee at a time. Never doubt how impactful just flipping your mindset into, I think I can do more, truly is for what you want to accomplish in anything, fitness and life. You tap into the, I think I can do more mentality, you will. Your energy and your body go where your mind flows. Walk it back to your toes. So if you believe you can't do more, if you believe it's too hard for you, if you believe you know, all of these things that kind of limit you. We put these beliefs on ourselves often out of fear of failure, potentially, but failure is so wonderful, especially if, when you're pushing your own boundaries. It teaches you, number one, I've got a new goal, or number two, I'm capable of more than I thought, both of which are positive. Good, bend your knees, make your way up slowly, bringing your head up last. Take your time coming up. And as we close out of this workout today, don't put any more limiting beliefs on yourself. Don't think you're only capable of here when you've never tried here. Don't think you're only capable of five pound dumbbells when you've never tried 10. Switch legs. Limiting beliefs will keep you stuck and keep you thinking, I can't achieve change. When you can't, you just maybe haven't executed outside of what you're used to, outside of what you know you can already do. You already know you're capable of that, so why stick here, right? Why not go a little bit bigger? Why not think, what if? I could try. The only thing that could happen is number one, you discover I'm stronger than I thought I was or I'm closer to this than I thought I was or you set a new goal that says, you know what, I wanna crush these 15 pound curl and presses and so I'm gonna work harder. All of those situations force you into this new, stronger version of yourself which we're constantly discovering and I'm gonna keep you to push discovering that new version of yourself daily. So meet me back here for our next workout tomorrow. We'll keep pushing each other. I'll show up for you, you show up for you, and we'll do this together. Before you head out, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Share this workout with all your friends and comment below what you're gonna push yourself into. No more limiting beliefs, it's only up from here. I'll see you tomorrow. Great work today. If you want a little bit more work, I've linked a video right over here. Don't forget to continue to stretch if you need that with the video that I link right down here. And don't forget to check and make sure you are subscribed. Share this workout with your friends and the channel. And I'll see you tomorrow.